Hi guys, it's me, Kathy. This is Sandy, are you? I still don't have my voice back completely, so please bear with me. I hope you guys are having a really good day and um, we're getting through uh, the new year together. We just did our live stream with Mr. Handy in case you missed it. So you'd probably have to look under live for finding that one. And uh, anyway, I just want to tell everybody who um, donated so graciously and beautifully to Mr. Handy for uh, us buying the Spooky 2 Rife machine and all the added accessories. Um, it's... It's been an amazing time to realize that people that we don't even directly know, I mean, I do know you through through this. I'm not saying I don't know you, but people that aren't like our, you know, aren't like our best friends have been helping us reach this goal to help him. And some of you have posted on comments that You've used the Spooky 2 Rife and that you've had great success. So it's so encouraging to hear things like that. And I really, really appreciate it. So in, in case you didn't know, he's Mr. Handy has been fighting brain cancer for many years. It's not a recent event. He's been under many, many chemotherapies. Um, he had resection of the right side, right lobe of his brain. And this was in 2012, and they took out a third of his left, left lobe. But he's functioning fine, you know, obviously. But recently he had some um, things happen in the last few weeks where it was the brain cancer, I should say cancers, because it's two different kinds, um, affected his brain, even though he was under a, like a, oh, I don't know what you want to call it, like a maintenance infusion to help him. And um, I guess the doctor decided to stop the chemo and did this maintenance infusion twice, a, uh, once every other week. And they also put him on steroids, four milligrams of Decadron. I'm going to just tell you the whole thing. Four milligrams of Decadron. And we have great familiarity with Decadron as that's what he took for about a year, probably less than a year, several years ago for the same reason swelling and um, <laughs> excuse me the decadron ended up killing both upper arm bones the, all the bone not just a little bit of it so it killed both of his upper arm bones at the same time they had to be removed and replaced by titanium so that's what he has now that's all from taking Decadron for less than a year. And steroids just mess people up. I can't believe they're given out as easily as they are for different problems. Uh, keep that in the back of your mind when you are given steroid injections, anything. They all, they're all steroids. They all have an effect. Anyway. So now he's on that in the um, maintenance infusion, which is not chemo. So four milligrams of Decadron twice a day. And I think we're just being told this is a bad idea. We know it's a bad idea. We don't even have to be told. Um, who knows what could happen? He already lost at least three inches of height from that, that Decadron maybe even four. 
so you know it's crushed the spine um so anyway the the, the alternative for us is spooky two number two rife machine and the accessories that they told us would be appropriate um, for him there's several but that doesn't bother me that there's several where we will make it we will get there and it's good for other things you know i have neurologic pain from um lyme disease and maybe excuse me maybe it's other things i don't know but what i'm told is it's lyme disease which is a parasite and we're learning that cancer is a parasite um all kinds of other diseases are caused by parasites. So I think we've been lied to a lot about what things really are. And that's why they, we were, were pushed away from natural, you know, remedies. And um, yeah, like I found out from my friend on Telegram that... Uh, what is it? Woodworm is the same as ivermectin. So if you want ivermectin and you can't get it, woodworm, woodworm does the same. You can get it in a capsule. And HCQ fights parasites as well. And that can be made by, I think it's two, there's probably recipes online for how to make it. But I think she said it was two grapefruit peels and two orange peels. Boil them with a cover so the steam doesn't escape for a good while. And then you take the cool liquid and keep it in the fridge and use that as a dose. Um, these things fight parasites. And honestly, it seems like everything is parasites right now. Like viruses seem like they're parasites. Because otherwise, why would... Um, the ivermectin HCQ work if, if it wasn't a parasite. So I think that's what viruses and all that really are. That's just my opinion. So anyway, I'm going to get back into my stuff. And, and thank you 100 times over if you've donated. And you all know who you are. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. And... We love you guys. I love all you guys anyway. But I love you guys too that are helping us. And it just brings such joy when we open up a letter because people have been sending it to our P.O. box. Um, and it's, it's even more special when you can open a card or a letter and see the actual person's handwriting and their sincerity and and some of their story, I mean, we're not the only ones who are having a hard time. It's, it's everywhere. So God bless the people in our chat and watching our video, excuse me, our videos. Um, God bless you guys and protect you and um, give you everything you need. Uh, I mean that with all sincerity. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> so anyway I'm sorry about my voice so I wrote this on Christmas Eve on now tonight's New Year's Eve and I was writing when I, I did I said I hope this is our last Christmas Eve uh, you know, what we look at as Christmas Eve. I hope this is it. So let's just all hope. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be talking about the Super Bowl for a minute. And since only um, last year, this year, 2022, the Super Bowl was played on the second Sunday of February. Now, before that, it was earlier. This year, it's on February 12th, 2023. 
So I decided to try Second Sunday because that seemed to be a big phrase in these articles I was reading. Second Sunday is 144. Drop the hammer. The time has come. Watermelon head. And President Trump recently called Adam Schiff that, you know, that he was a watermelon head. Where is Nancy, which is one of his phrases, never give up. He says, never, ever give up. Then we have the Korean national soccer team. So I'm thinking it'll look like possibly um, attacks from Korea, which we know would be fake. And purple light matches. So that could be the color of the light during the eclipse I keep expecting. I know no one else is, but I am expecting a, an eclipse where you see the corona of the sun and, and then in the center, it's all dark. Mark of the Beast matches 144. And then in Jewish gematria is 927. And that equals state of emergency. John's coming. Big earthquake. Oh, I'm sorry. It's longer than that. Big earthquake in Ferndale, California. Face your fears. And then we have across the sky. And then back to 144. Is, um, it sends a broadcast sig signal. Sky is falling. Lucky strike. Um, like, like a hit. Pearl Harbor Day, which one had a whole episode about. Gettysburg. Sorry about the beeping. Gettysburg. War in Ukraine. The solar flash, I think that's when we're, our DNA upgrades. And let's see what else is important. Peacekeeping force, like it won't be a real war. And Joseph Biden, D-I-E-S. I think the real one is gone. But we have John and other people playing him for now. So, um, and Orlando, Florida is the same, 144. So that's the Super Bowl because it's the second Sunday. <coughs> then I went on to, uh, I don't think I have more about the Super Bowl, did I? It might be out of order. No, I don't. Okay. So, that, that, like I said, the Super Bowl will be Sunday the 12th. So, keep your eye out on that. This The halftime show is always big. be so cool if Michael Jackson came out and played at the halftime show that, like he did before. Hi, Michael. If Michael is watching, oh my gosh. That would be the biggest day if I heard that Michael Jackson was watching. I don't even know what I would do. <laughs> oh my gosh, Michael, I think I'm taller than you. I hate to tell you. I'm 5'10 and a half. I'm not sure what's listed as your height, but I know it's less than that. So I'm sorry I'm taller, Michael. I really am. Ugh, I hate that. So then I went on to the college football playoff championship, which will be Monday, January 9th. So that's sooner. And it's gonna be at SoFi Stadium in Englewood, California. So if you're a fan with a ticket, you get to go in early from 10 to four. And it's the all, all state championship tailgate. And at the event, there's headlining Kelsey Ballerini and rising star Tierra Kennedy. We have Kennedy in here.
pregame events at 4.30. Before game kickoff, Pentatonix will perform the Star Spangled Banner. And that's beautiful. I love Pentatonix. I, my daughter got to see Pentatonix. It's wonderful. Then the actual game will kick off at 4.45 Pacific time. Um, the halftime, I don't know why I'm getting into all this, but I'm going to tell you anyway, because I guess I'm supposed to. Halftime is produced by Michael T. Fior, F-I-U-R, Productions. And also the pregame show um, is at Alexander Hamilton High School from Los Angeles, California. It's a magnet school. So we have Alexander Hamilton, who I think President Trump might have used to be him. And we have a magnet school, and that's how the magnetism, you know, gets transferred for the free energy, almost free energy. I think what's going to happen is the earth is turning this way, and then the, every, all of a sudden when the, maybe the solar flash happens or maybe something else, it starts turning the other way, and that's when you get the, the energy. That's an opinion. <coughs> Excuse me. And then a, man, a young man named Seven, God's perfect number, Seven Chandler, a 10-year-old from L.A., will perform the Star Spangled Banner in America the Beautiful in American Sign Language. Also honored best teachers from each state. During the game, honoring Army Staff Sergeant Clint Ramesha, Ramesha received the Medal of Honor, Battle of Combat, Outpost Keating on 10309. He defended the outpost from 300 Taliban insurgents. He was wounded but gave Bravo Troop time to regroup. Who knows if that's true? I know a lot of these hero things are written that they look wonderful, but sometimes they're not real. But this possibly could be real. And I haven't tried to figure it out. And then the CFP semifinal, semifinal is Ohio State against Georgia in the CFP. And it's on 1230. Well, that was yesterday. I don't even know who won. I guess it was Ohio State, right? It had to be because they're playing today. And it was called the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. And Peach was a big calm in Juana Sabin's uh, movie, The Perfect Day. <clears throat> let's see it was let's see Michigan Wolverines in the second game <clears throat> which was played earlier in the day was Michigan Wolverines against the TCU Tennessee right TCU horned frogs that's us horned frogs we're Pepe's right and it was called the PlayStation Fiesta Bowl. Four o'clock, it was on yesterday. The winners of the games played in the CFB National Championship will play on 1-9-23, time to be announced, at SoFi Stadium in LA on ESPN. So I don't even remember listening to all the rigmarole about the games and the playoffs. Here it is the day after. I'm not sure. Did the TCU Horned Frogs win or the Michigan Wolverines? No, I would think that the Wolverines were favored as they only lost one game to Ohio State. But anyway, in my mind, I'm thinking the TCU Horned Frogs would have won yesterday. Like I said, I don't know for sure. Because did the Horned Frogs and, and these games are all fixed, whether you know it or not. So wouldn't it be awesome if the Horned Frogs played Ohio State at the final game and the Horned Frogs won because it's us. We're the Anons, the Frogs, the Pepes. Let's see. And then I have the Orange Bowl was yesterday, 1230. Cotton Bowl is 1-2. 
Rose bowl is one, two. Sugar bowl, one, two. All on ESPN. So if you don't have ESPN in any way, you're up, you know what, creek. Anyway, for fun, I tried horned frogs. And then I just entered wolverines because you don't have to, have to say and or versus. So I put horned frogs, wolverines. It's 271. You won't believe what this adds up to. 271 equals and frogs to destroy them right out of the Bible. So horned frogs, wolverines is and frogs to destroy them. And then we have a famous one from Juan that matches one, two, I'm sorry, 271. Mega cubed divided by corn equals E, like energy. Mega cubed divided by corn equals E. That matches 271. Horn frogs, wolverines, which also matches, and frogs to destroy them. It matches those who know can't sleep by the skin of your teeth. Now, will the horned frogs win by the skin of their little teeth, which they have none? <laughs> will they win by the skin of their teeth over the wolverines? Um, Carolyn J. Bissett Kennedy matches. And you know what I say, that Carolyn is not a real person, that it's she's always been played by Diana and Jackie. Mostly Diana, as far as I can tell. Okay. Horn Frogs, Wolverines at 271 also equals Wonder Woman and Superman. The trumpet shall sound. Female of the Holy Trinity impeachment investigation. So every time we heard that, we were supposed to think of all these other things. So this is a good one. Who knows? Is, it gonna, is something going to happen near the Super Bowl? Or is something going to happen near the college football playoff? Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> Now back onto my eclipse. I call it my eclipse because I've never heard anybody else talk about an unexpected eclipse. Nobody. And anything I do is from my own decoding. And like I always say, if I get something from someone else's decoding or another video, whatever, I tell you. So if you're hearing something from me and I just talk about it, it's from me. So if I'm wrong, it's 100% me. And if I'm right, it's 100% me. Just to let you know. <laughs> I have to have a drink. Sorry. I'm trying to get the frog out of my throat. I couldn't talk at all last week. I was just, just croaking. It was tough at, tough at Christmas. Um, oh, here we go. So I entered in Jamatrix.org. Will there be an unexpected eclipse? That was my phrasing, unexpected eclipse. And um, my, my thoughts are that if when that happens, that the sun is shadowed and except the outer edge, and there's kind of a twilight in the air like a twilight effect. And I think that's why the TV show, the movie, whatever it is, Twilight was made popular because they wanted to give us twilight comms. Um, anyway. Let's see. So unexpected eclipse is 186 equals Christmas event. Now, granted, we're past Christmas. I don't know. Um, all I can think of is that might still be associated with Christmas is the 10 um, crucial days in history. It's called the 10 crucial days. And it was from 
1225-1776 until 13-1777. And that's when the United States, the revolutionaries, um, had wins. And they had had only losses before that. But it matches unexpected eclipse. It equals the world is stage. Um, that's 107. I can make you get this right. Ring of fire and Guantanamo military, 107. President Trump phrases level playing field, 176. 176 is also back to the future. And when does a bird sing, which is our favorite Anon phrase. Justice is coming. Meaning of numbers. I am John Kennedy Jr. That's 176 as well. Donald J. Trump Jr. is 176. High heels, high hopes. And uh, remember when Jackie is in high heels, she's, when Melania is in high heels, she's Jackie Kennedy. When she's in low heels, she's Diana. So high heels, high hopes. 176 also equals my search engine, jamatrix.org. Um, let's see. Will the eclipse be 10 days long? So I asked, will the eclipse be 10 days long? Because, you know, there's 10 days of darkness, right? Doesn't necessarily mean pitch black, but it could be like a twilight. Will the eclipse be 10 days long? That's 301. 301 equals very, very probably. And then have courage, it's going to happen. God will judge the living and the dead. Pro project super terrorism. Great is the power of darkness. All USA volcanoes erupting, which I've gotten before. Like, that's intense. All of them going off at once. Don't panic, it's completely safe. Hi, John, are you having fun yet? And make America great again. Keep America great all together. That matches 301. So funny. There's so many things that, there's different ways this thing could go. So that's about my eclipse. I call it, I, like I said, it's my eclipse. I'm the one that keeps coming up with it. Oh, more about the eclipse. Hey. So, um, so then I tried unscheduled eclipse. And that's 185. And that equals Donald John Trump. I don't think that's a coincidence. Impossible event. Because this would be something that nobody has in the lineup, you know, coming up with eclipses. They wouldn't have it there. It's not scheduled. It's not expected. So, unex, unex, I'm sorry, unscheduled eclipse 185 is also signs and wonders. Secret energy key. Amazing results. Mind control device. Then I was wondering, could the sun have been programming us? It could be. The earth will shake. Remember we talked about the uh, all US volcanoes erupting? Well, that would make sense with the earth will shake. And I think it's gonna be our guys making it happen, but still, it will feel like it. Carrington event, and that was the most intense geomagnetic storm in recorded history and it was 1859 
September 1, 2 through 2. So unscheduled eclipse also equals global financial reset. Now this is something interesting. Uh, Derek Johnson, who's, uh, I don't know if you call him a singer or a musician, but he's been on Truther channels. I, I asked if I could get him on, but... I don't know if he really would have seen my comment to ask him on, and I don't have his email. So if Derek Johnson is watching, please get in touch with me. Miss Sandy, are you at Comcast.net? Um, anyway, so President Trump has said many times, we'll be going to Mars soon. Mars. And Derek Johnson, when he was on with Tom Numbers, who's a friend of mine, he was on with him, and he said MARS is an acronym. It stands for Military Acquisition Radio Service. So it's another COM for um, Military Alert System. And then he went on to say, we give a white flag if the other side breaks the deal, as this person did, July 2021, DJ Trump offered her a white flag of surrender. He offered Andrea Merkel, if she isn't even, even as a woman, the white flag of surrender. And like I said, I've been saying that at the end of all this, or at least partway through all this, it'll look like um, certain people are winning, certain people are losing, but the high up people will be winning. And let's see. This is the next one. Yeah, I think I did all I, I did all this, so we're all set with that. Sorry about the paper noise. So I tried, um, this was, I wrote this on Christmas and I said again, hopefully the last. I entered into gematrix.org, solar flash after eclipse. And that's 230. 230 is a galactic storm Federation of Light, Washington Wizards, and that's a basketball team, of course, 153, so all this matches solar flash after eclipse, 153 equals John Kennedy, JR. Plan to save the world, which was 17th letter, plan to save the world, and it was by Joe Mathapose, our Joe Mathapose, who is Juan. And Journey to the Sun, and remember we were decoding solar flash after eclipse, and Journey to the Sun matches 230. Dark disclosure, like dark because of the eclipse, twin solar elements. Like twins, we have two. Do we have two sons? I don't know. But twin also references uh, JFK, JR, and his dad, J you know, President Kennedy, and they were twins. So in Jewish gematria, which I happen to notice is 750 solar flash after eclipse, that is 750. And it's in the blink of an eye. Secret space program. All is not as it seems. The core of the sun. So we have a lot of sun comms there. So let's see. I want to tell you this part. I was going to skip something else. Um, Mr. C on original Mark Z. Z like zebra. He's on Friday mornings from about 
a little after 10 and he's on about 45 minutes or so. And his full name, well, not his full name, but his name is Michael C. Cottrell. When you add that up, it's 159 and that equals John F. Kennedy, J.R. So that's what Mr. C's name adds up to. And his nickname is just Mr. C. But I think it's also Mr. S-E-A because of the beast event that he has to get involved in. So from the things that I heard Mr. C saying, usually I think he's John or Junior Juan. This time I'm pretty sure it was Diana. Listen to the phrasing or the words. As, as he was talking, and this was on the 23rd. Delivery, it would be nice after. I've been losing weight recently due to dilation problem. It's really kind of nice to lose weight. Doesn't that sound like somebody who has been pregnant, had a baby, and then they were having problems, having the baby, and then they lost weight. So what if Diana had been expecting and lost weight? I don't know when Diana would admit all this stuff. I'm, I'm not gonna go into all of his decoding, but another thing he said partway through, it's going to get very intense in January. He's referring to, um, in one or more sense, to the situation in Ukraine, but double meaning to real BOM BS loading in the United States. And then very tense, intense, it's 156, December 8th, 18th, I should say, Patrick Kennedy, Joseph Patrick Kennedy, Jr. The, the kitchen sink, like throwing everything at someone, it will all look like bad things are happening at one time. In, in uh, parentheses, that's my words. Food poisoned, chemical attacks, nukes. Like all these things could look like they're happening. Um, January... 13th is 1 slash 1 3. So 1 1 3. This is it, which was Michael Jackson's um, record that he used when President Kennedy was still in office. So January equals 1 13. This is it. Not true. White hats. Read script. Secret plan. Persevere, Moonlight, and Jubilee. The people, Mr. C on this decode said, said, enough is enough. As if he said it to the um, CCP, to Russia. Enough is enough is 168. It equals Vladimir Putin, is it to raise? Is it to something CCP? Enough is endure. Enough is enough. Is 168. Vladimir Putin, New Year's Eve, New York City, I should say. Waving a white flag, John F. Kennedy, SR. I thought it updates. Oh, I can't read that one. I don't understand that one. I wrote too many squirrely things. Instrument of surrender is the capital capitulation of the state of Japan to the conditions promoted by the Allies. The date is usually referred to as the victory over Japan. Anyway, so I'm going to leave you guys with that. I'm getting tired and I'm going to start not making any sense at all. So I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed your Yule log and my bright, happy face.
<laughs> Mr. Handy wasn't here for this video. He had to go watch the football game, so I'm sorry. But he does really appreciate any donations that you give. So again, I thank you guys. And like I said, we're halfway there. And before you know it, he'll be um, being treated and everything, and it's going to be beautiful. So I really appreciate all the help you can give, even if it's a dollar. So take care of each other, and I'll have my voice back before you know it. <laughs> and um, remember, I love you. I really do. And uh, if you want to email me or talk or anything, it's Mrs. Handy, are you at Comcast.net? Or you can do um, Handy, are you at Comcast.net? And that's for Mr. Handy. So if you want to talk to him, that's a good way to do it. And in case I forget to add stuff, oh my gosh, we're on. PayPal and um, what is it? Buy me a coffee. So if you can look for us there, that would be great. And what else was I going to say? I think that was it. And uh, oh, my P.O. box. It's Catherine, M I C H A U D, like dog. And it's P.O. box 188 Rollins Ford. R-O-L-L-I-N-S-F-O-R-D, New Hampshire, 03869. So at least that works if none of the links work, right? So anyway, I love you guys so much. And um, take care and Happy New Year. And I'll see you soon. Bye.